Shalom, the cigar, first and foremost, all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, Bashem, meaning coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Today, we're going to take a look at two scriptures in this unholy Quran, in this crazy, crazy literature here we gonna take a look at two scriptures in the Quran and then we gonna deal exclusively with the Bible but I want to bring out two scriptures from the Quran the Quran whatever that is basically saying what the Bible is saying or it just matches you know what I'm saying so without further ado let's go into this Quran here um, and this is Surah 2, verses 47. O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed on you, and that I made you excel the nations. So, that's one thing so far that I've known to be true in this Quran. That's true. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's that's a real thing. The children of Israel do excel the nations. We're going to prove that by going to the Holy Scriptures. This is the KJV version. The Holy Scriptures of the Most High God, Yahweh. We're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy. And we're going to go to chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God and the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth so we're a special people above all people on the earth the Quran says that the children of Israel excel the nations the you know that, that's what it says that's that's what the Quran says now let's go back to this book and we're gonna go to Surah 17 and 2 it says and we gave Moses the book and made it a guidance to the children of Israel saying take no guardian beside me so this is referring to the scriptures that the Most High gave to Moses. And he said, take no guardian beside me. So then this is the only guardian that we need right here. I mean, at least that's what I'm getting from it. But let's see what the, the Holy Bible says. Let's go to Psalms. Now we're going to turn to the book of Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19 he showeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel he has not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye the Lord so the Quran says that the book was given to Moses and then the Bible says that this book this book only belongs to us, the Israelites. It doesn't belong to any other nation. No other nation knows these laws and statutes and commandments. No other nation has to. They weren't given to no one else but us. Now, we're done with this book. Now we're going to continue in the Holy Scriptures of the Most High, Yahweh. We're going to go to Romans. The book of Romans. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promise. So these are the things that pertain to to the children of Israel. 
it says the covenants and the giving of the law. So the covenants and the giving of the law belong to Israelites. The covenant belongs to the Israelites. Now let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 18. In verse 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So this is saying I will raise up them a prophet from among their brethren. So an Israelite as an Israelite we're going to have prophets raised up, but from our own brethren, from our people. So now, let's see another, another verse that substantiates this. Let's go to Amos. Let's go to the book of Amos. The book of Amos chapter 2. And verse 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. It is not even thus. O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord. So again, prophets being raised up from the children of Israel. Now let's go to the book of Genesis. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 20 and 21. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. So, Ishmael is going to be a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. So now, Ishmael is born, but the covenant's not with him. But the Most High said he will be a great nation. So the Most High says that Ishmael himself already has his own nation. So a prophet cannot be from any other nation except from the nation of Israel. So if Ishmael has his own nation, Muhammad can't be a prophet of the Most High God. He just can't. Simple as that. But also, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac. So the covenant belongs to Israel. We just went over that. To, uh, everything that pertains to Israel, the covenant, the promises, the service of God, all, all of that belongs to the Israelites. Now, let's go to the book of Psalms. This is going to be a knockout right here. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms 83. In verse 3, Psalms 83 and verse 3. So before I, before I bring this out, a lot of our people are becoming Muslims and following the traditions and the gods of the Arabs, right? Um, a lot of us, you know, we like to get into the gang life or the street life do a lot of dumb, retarded shit, then go to jail, and then get scared, you know what I'm saying? Because shit's real in there. So now, you know, we need protection. So basically, you know, we're going to turn Muslim. We're going to turn Muslim because the Muslims hold it down in there, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to mess with you if, you if you Muslim, right? That's what it is. But we already saw that Ishmael has his own nation. You ask any real Muslim, any real Arab, they're going to tell you, yeah, we, we, they come from, from Ishmael. 
right? They'll admit that. We, we're descendants from Ishmael. That's what they'll tell you. They're descendants from Ishmael. I'm a descendant from Isaac, from Jacob, from the 12 tribes. He's, they're descendants from Ishmael, the great nation that the covenant is not with, right? So now let, let's see who they are according to nations, right? Psalm 83, start at 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes. It just names, uh, uh, you know, the the people, the nations that are against us. But my main focus is this: these are our enemies. These are the people against the children of Israel. It says the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. So the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, the Muslims, they are our enemies. So what you're doing, converting to Islam, is basically turning your back on the Most High. You're turning your back on your own people to worship a false god that the Arabs believe in. Now, I got one more script and I'm going to close out with this. And I hope I pronounce this name right. Uh, this is the book of uh, Habakkuk. We're going to go to chapter 2, verse 19. It says, Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake to the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. So, woe to those who are bowing down to a stupid stone. That's what it. That's what it. That, that that's what the, the book says. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake, and to the dumb stone, arise. That's basically idol worship. Um, this is pertaining to. Anything that's made of wood, anything that's made of stone, any kind of idolatry. You're worshiping a stone. That's dumb. I don't want to worship something that was created. I want to worship the creator, the creator of all things. And that was just a quick lesson on the difference between Israel and, and uh, Ishmael. Israel and Ishmael, right? Israel, everything pertains to us. Ishmael, he's not part of that. So with that, Shalom, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Mawafla Babal.